restaurant since I was like 16. My first job was in a restaurant. Um, since then, I've worked in about three other restaurants. I started as a dishwasher and then worked my way up to cook. The first restaurant that was legitimately, you know, an in indoor seating restaurant with a full menu and stuff was when I was 19, so about four years now. So Doghouse Pizza came about uh, a couple of years ago when me and a couple of buddies lived in a house down by the bowling alley in Ellensburg here. And what we had done was we turned that house pretty much into a, a public setting for all of our friends to come over and hang out. And it just happened that we had a bunch of dogs as our pets and we nicknamed the house Dog House. Both of us, we have a lot of experience in the kitchen and I've been making pizzas for as long as I can remember. Personally, I love pizza, always have, as I'm sure most people do, hopefully they do, because we're gonna sell it to everyone. Uh, but it's like pretty easy and the overhead and uh, uh, ability to make profit off it is, is pretty easy, you know depending on how big you're making a pizza and how much ingredients you're using and, and what those ingredients are. You know, a 10 inch pizza with all its ingredients could cost like $1.50 to make and you could sell that for $12, $10, $11 or more if you wanted to make it really expensive and people are gonna, I feel like, always eat pizza. Pizza gets that kind of negative connotation that it's just junk food and we can, we can kind of uh, switch that around a little bit with putting certain things like all these vegetables like spinach is real good on it and usually people use mozzarella we like to use mozzarella too but uh, feta is good blue cheese is great on our pesto pizza we're able to um, we're kind of able to go above and beyond and give a different outlook for for uh, pizza companies some things that I feel like other pizza places could do are like have a lack of, of trying things out of the box is like gluten-free dough which at this point in time you know there's a huge market for healthier options especially in Ellensburg there's, there's a really good market for that and um, like a vegan pizza like you know full vegetables with a lot less cheese um, you know the thing about pizza is you can really put on any ingredient that you've eaten separately, you can incorporate into a pizza with the right things. I think that, in, that the spot that we're in right now is, it's a little bit of a tough spot just because it is, it is hard to start up a small business. Bricks is a restaurant I currently work at. I've been there for about a year and a half and they have a really similar business model as what we have. My boss, he gave us the opportunity to come in under their business license, although we have a business license as well. And from when they closed the kitchen on Fridays and Saturdays around 10, we could come in uh, and take over and sell pizzas from, I mean, it would be up to us, but we were thinking between 10 and 3.30 in the morning. And I think the next step that we could take is to move into that situation at Bricks and just start out delivering on two nights a week. You gotta really get out there and get investors and everything. Uh, one way that we've been helping to get our credibility is to throw like pizza parties and stuff. It, it blows my mind like going out on nights and going to the bars and just multiple people asking like, dude, when are you selling pizzas? When can we expect it? And that's like amazing, you know, we haven't even started yet. And like that's potentially five or 10 people right there that would, we, would be ordering pizzas that night, so. As far as the limits go with pizza. We think that we think that just because someone hasn't done it before doesn't mean that we can't do it. Just the just with any trade, there's there's certain skill sets and there's certain uh, certain ways of uh, conducting your business that I think that we have a good grip on. But there's still plenty of things that we can learn and improve on. So I think those are a couple of things that are maybe. Um, maybe creating speed bumps and developing our business. But I think that once we get over that, that we'll be, uh, we'll be a successful company. Great service, quick deliveries, 
and a quality product is something we could easily guarantee. And uh, I don't want to get in any trouble with the pizza companies around here. Doghouse Pizza would offer way better pizzas than all those places, hands down. <laughs>